to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my fucking channel. No. week I decided to do a follow-up to um, my first ever video which was a questions and answers and getting to know me video so um, that was one of the most viewed videos on my channel so I decided you know what I will do another one I'll do another one it's okay stop me I'll do another all right guys I went onto my Instagram and my Facebook page um, and asked you guys what do you want to know any kind of questions any questions and answers anything anything you want to know ask away and um, I got some of you guys um, asking me questions so let's get into it so the first question is why did you start a YouTube channel so I started a YouTube channel because I needed a, another way and I wanted another way to express myself express um, the art in which I love to do which is the art of drag um, the art of performance um, and the art of entertainment. A few of my friends had suggested, um, why don't you do this? Why don't you um, make a YouTube channel and um, see how it goes? And I did, and I've got a really good, um, really good response from it. So I'm gonna keep fucking doing it until you all tell me to fuck off. Okay, so the next question is, who is your favorite YouTuber? Now, my favorite YouTuber. At the moment, I think it's probably Shani Grimham love her i love her makeup tutorials um her vlogs um and everything and she's just very relatable now she's actually from the same country i'm from australia um she lives in brisbane i think and i'm just um a few hours north of there um and i think it's just amazing i think that she's done very well for herself i think that um she is very talented um in the art of makeup and i think that she's absolutely fucking beautiful so um i love you thank you um, and yeah, I love you. Thank you. All right, guys. So the next question is, what is it? What's the next question? What is it? You ask me and I'll ask you. I'll tell you. Should I tell you? Do you want to know? Do you want to know, though? Do you? All right. I'll tell you. The next question is, have you ever considered moving to a bigger city to further your drag career? Now, I have thought about it, but I don't think I will do it. Um, now, um, as you guys would know by now, I do live in a kind of a rural small town. Um, and it is hard to... It's, re it's It's been good in a way because I've been able to perform and I'm quite well known in my town um, for my performance and um, for the type of drag that I do. But um, there's only so... But there's only so far you can kind of go. Um, yeah, I, I have thought about it. I have thought about maybe moving to a bigger town to um, pursue a career and maybe this. But um, a lot of things have said stop and think about it before you kind of do it. Do you know what I mean? Um, you know, number one being that my mum is quite sick. Um, so I don't really want to leave her. Um, I'd rather be here um, and everything like that. Plus my family, I've got a beautiful family. So there's a lot of factors weighing up there. I've got a, um, I've got a job um, that's, you know, brings in the money, you know what I mean? Everybody needs a bit of money to buy now. So like, this $2 pair of glasses, this $2 headband that I'm using as a choker, this $2 cape. Do you notice? Did you guys fucking notice that I'm wearing rainbow today? I don't think you fucking did. I'm wearing rainbow because we love all of the fucking gays and the lesbians and the transgenders and the bi's and the transsexuals and the intersexuals and every fucking body under the rainbow. And it's okay to vote yes. <sighs> what is the next question? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? It isn't a dream. The only sound that you will hear is when Ivy whispers in your ear. She loves you. Forever right, guys, so the next question is what is your biggest what the fuck moment that has happened to you in the past month? All right, month, month. It says past few weeks, but I'm just going to say months, you know what I mean? All right, guys, so the biggest what the fuck moment literally happens like three days ago. So, um, obviously, you know, I have a YouTube channel because you're fucking watching me on it, aren't you? But this video, excuse my phone, it's pretty gammon, but this video... Sorry. 
decide whether or not I can get married. Alright guys, so this video I posted out of August. It is now the 22nd of October when I'm filming this. So, yeah, it was a minute ago, you know what I mean? Like, it's been a minute. It's been a fucking minute. Alright, so the comment, um, I got a few comments on here, which, um, which I'll read. Um, one was vote yes. Vote yeah, yes, no. you don't like rainbows. Now that was the most amazing thing we've ever heard. If you don't like yes, you don't like rainbows. Don't you like rainbows? I love rainbows. Look at the fucking thing. I love rainbows. Rainbows. Right, so three days ago, I got this message from someone who doesn't even have a fucking YouTube account. So they have the account, I guess, but they don't post any videos. They don't do nothing. It's just like, no photo, nothing. Mr. or Mrs. Anonymous. What's the fucking name? Sidifa. S-D-F-A-A. And then space, S-D-F. Hey, you, you think you're special that you can't even get a name? All right, no. so here is what he or she or it wrote to me. Do you understand that we live in a democracy? Do you understand that we live in a democracy? Decisions, dis I can't speak. Decisions cannot be made individually as they do not only affect individuals but the society as a whole. For example, allowing people to beep their dog in the privacy of their own home doesn't sound like a problem, right? Allowing people to their dog in the privacy of their own home doesn't affect you right. I guess it doesn't affect me, but that's fucked up and that's disgusting. So why the fuck would you say something like that, you sicko? However, you're wrong. Well, it does affect me because that's disgusting. So, no, I guess it doesn't affect me really, but that's disgusting. <laughs> but that's my opinion and everyone has a right to their own opinion. See what I did there? Imagine the implications society would have from that. Now, I know this isn't the same, of course, but to address the point of why do all have to vote and the government shouldn't get to tell me what to do. There are clear flaws with that and there is not one reasoning pointed out above. As for gay marriage, I honestly would like to know your opinion on the next question. All right. I hope you're watching this because I'm going to answer your fucking question. The question you believe is, that more research should be done on the collation of poor mental health in the LGBT community. Yes, I do very much so. There is so many people that are part of the LGBT community that are going through mental health issues. And you know why that is, mate? Or love? It's because the way we're fucking treated. People are made to not be able to feel like they can be themselves and not be accepted and not walk around being 100% who they are and who they were born and who they're meant to be. That, my friend, is why people feel that way. That is why people kill themselves. That is why people are depressed. And that is why Australia has a big fucking ass problem. So yes, more research should be done, but they should have spent the 120 something million dollars that they put um, into this stupid fucking survey and they could have helped them. They could have helped the people suffering from mental health, but no, the government here is stupid and they don't think of that, do they? So, to the government. I don't mean to be a bitch, but I'm just saying, this is my opinion. You gave me your opinion, this is mine. Love you. All right. If you're honest with yourself, you would know that there are, there are ridiculously high levels of suicide and depression with the LGBT community. And if your answer is because they are treated differently and are <laughs> then you are not looking at the facts and you are viewing this in a biased outlook. How? Okay. 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 So, if people... You're telling me, if people... Um, I can't. Okay, so you're telling me if people part of the LGBT community um, have mental health issues, 
And I'm saying it's because that we're treated differently and it's because of the society and how they treat us. This is the reason why there's a, high, a really high suicide rate. This is the reason why that depression is fucking so prominent in our community. Then I don't know what... I don't... Yeah, you make no sense. You make no sense, okay? And then, um, basically, this person... Um, the last sentence of this um, comment was, don't worry, I'm voting yes, but I'm open to logic and reason. I'm open to logic and reason, and I voted yes too. So maybe we do have something in common. I don't know if you're gay, if you're straight, if you're bi, if you're anything. Um, if you are, best of luck with all of that. If you are, um, best of luck with all of that, because um, I'm always a firm believer in being yourself. I'm always a firm believer in being who you were supposed to be and who you were born to be. So good on you. Still, that doesn't make you any less of an asshole. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of the fucking video. I hope you learned a little bit more about me. I know I only answered a few questions because I got a really bit carried away with that comment, didn't I, in my, one of my videos? It wasn't just any comment. It's something that's really close to my heart and it was on my, um, my voting. Uh -huh. Oh, that smell. And um, it was on my voting yes video. Um, so, and you're telling, um, and when someone tells me that I don't know what I'm talking about or um, that um, I'm very biased, I guess I am a bit biased, but also I have my opinion and I'm um, fucking concerned. Nearly everybody that I know, including my family, that is how they feel. Um, I have greater sympathy for all of the people going through mental health in the LGBT community and everybody else that is going through that sort of stuff too. Um, depression and suicide is absolutely um, horrible and I wouldn't wish it upon anyone. Um, just be yourself, guys. And let's fucking let the rainbow thaw. You know what I mean? Oh, I look fucking disgusting from close up. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at oh, my lip there. If you like me and if you like these videos then give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and if you don't like me or my videos then don't fucking watch them don't watch them don't ever watch them and you'll be fucking fine you know what I mean so yeah don't forget also to turn that little bell button next to the subscribe button on to get notifications every single fucking time I release a new video you're welcome in which is weekly might I add Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you in my next fucking video.